Lola, Dapper Driver here, and we're going to go over this Tapu Coco list that I have here. And this is going to face off against Gyarados uh, tomorrow in a legendary battle, but I wanted to share, you guys, share the list with you guys first. So, of course, we have three Tapu Cocos. I think we have two from the figure and uh, one from the pin collection here. These guys are pretty much the standard uh, promo you uh, everybody wants to play. Now, we're also playing this similar to our NAIC list, which is has four Passimian in which always works well with that team play attack. It's another double colorless attacker, so it works well with Tapu Koko to clean up whatever uh, Koko leaves behind. You also have one Mew, because you can use anybody's attack. You can use Koko, Passimian, um, anything that's a basic. Mew can use that attack, and it also provides free retreat, just like Tapu Koko. And then here's a weird thing we're playing in here. We're playing four Gliger. Looks like we're playing two from Roaring Skies, which are rotating and two from uh, Guardians Rising. Now Gligar is uh, good because of Gliscor actually. Gliscor is Finishing Stinger for one energy, one energy. You do Finishing Stinger, which does 70 more damage, but it does not do anything if, um, if, ha if the opponent has no damage on them already. So that's why you use Coco. You can even use Simeon's Fling Attack to set up damage on your opponents and then start Swinging with Gliscor to finish it off, and we have three Gliscor. Now, for some immediate attackers, just in case none of that works really, we have Aeroball Lugia, which is also rotating. That could be easily replaced with the Lele, though. Uh, does 20 damage time to amount of energy attached to both Pokemon. This is going to be a good Gardevoir counter, to be honest. Uh, but uh, it's going into Expanded after this, so there's that. And then also to boost some damage. We are still trying to boost damage. We got two Reggie Rocks in order to boost our damage with our uh, Gliscor and our Passimian in case those end up on the bench. And we have one Dragonite to bring things back, whether it's Coco, Mew, Passimian. Uh, pull up ability is solely in here for that. We'll put it over here under Coco. Let's go ahead and go into our items. We have a uh, Field Blower. Just to get rid of, uh, we can't have Garbodor shutting off our Memories of Dawn. So we need Field Blower just to keep that in, um, in effect. And also Reggie Power so we can get that damage boost. We can't have our abilities shut off. So we need Field Blower to keep those Garbodors in check. We also, uh, Field Blower is also great for knocking off tools that can cause you great damage. And things like that. And, uh, stadiums that are not doing well for you. And we also have three Nest Balls, considering most of our deck is basic. Nest Ball seems to be the best ball to search out Cocos, Mews, Passimians, uh, the whole nine yards. We have two Rescue Stretchers to pull stuff back from the discard pile, whether it's uh, Coco, Passimian, Mew, Gliger. You can pull back anything, shuffle three, three Pokemon back into your deck, or put one from your discard pile into your hand. We have one Switch, general Switch card for anything that gets trapped. We want to get it out, mostly for these Regirocks. Um, now that can also be switched with either a Guzma or a, um, a Floatstone even. We have Special Charge to bring back our uh, double colorless energies so that we can continually attack every turn. Okay, now for tools we have uh, two Fighting Fury Belt. We can boost the, the HP on our Persimians, our Cocos, get an extra 10 damage anywhere. Gliscor can't use it, but uh, that's not a big deal. And then we also have two float stones to try to attach to those Reggie Rocks, keep them out of the active position. And then uh, we have two Ultra Balls, which I would like to play more, especially since it's like a Passimian list. You really want a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Ultra Balls, but uh, I think we're playing a little bit. We're trying we're trying to rely on something else a little more, so we lowered our count for Ball cards. So we got two Ultra Balls, so we can search out anything here um, with that Ultra Ball. I feel like the lighting is really bad right now, but maybe not. Okay, now I'm back over to Trainers. We got an Acerola. If anything gets any damage on it, we want to be able to pick it up and uh, reuse it. So that's what Acerola is in here for. We have Brock's Grit to bring back energies, Pokemon, anything from the discard pile. We got an Alili. If we want that first turn, eight cards. Um, or if, if we're just we're struggling, we don't want to get rid of what we have, but we want more cards, so we Lily. We have two Lysanders. Uh, one Ninja Boy, in case we want some immediate Passimian help. Ninja Boy is great if you want to either boost damage for Gligar, you want to switch into a Regirock, 
or if you have like two Pistimians, you want three, you just go ahead. Ninja Boy, your other card that you pulled out into a uh, Pistimian. Um, so that's what Ninja Boy's in the deck for. And then we have four ends for consistency. We want to keep keep drawing cards, and N really helps with that. Keeps us uh, with the card, right cards in our hand when we need them. We have one Kukui for that little extra damage. Um, it might be a card we could switch out as well. We have uh, three Professor Sycamore and one teammate. Teammate, honestly, I would put more in here considering you, you're going for some quick damage and then retreating right away. But uh, teammate is uh, good for that. Now the cards we would most likely have to replace in this... Oh, we're not done, actually. We still have stadiums and energies. So let's go over our stadiums. Our stadiums real fast. This is what we're relying on to get out our Pokemon more. It's some Brooklet Hill. We got two Brooklet Hills to get out Pokemon and into... Uh, Keep our consistency up. It's good for pulling out Passimians every turn, Gligors, uh, Regirocks. You want to get them onto your bench so that you can utilize their abilities or their attack. We have one Skyfield in case we run out of bench space. Uh, that's mostly so that we can get you know four Passimians, a Mew, a Coco, two Cocos maybe, a Gliscor, a Regirock, so we can get as much out of our all of our Pokemon as possible. And then we have four Fighting Energy, mostly for that Gliscor, but can be used with Passimian for that Fling attack. So that's, yeah, that's the good thing about four Fighting Energy. And then we finish off, of course, with four Double Colorless. Now, like I was saying, there are a few cards. If you guys want to switch this to a standard deck, uh, please look up pretty much stand look up standard Passimians and then add some to Cocos in it. But this deck was more based off of Tapu Coco initially, and then I added Passimians. Gligor is questionable. Maybe instead of Gligor, you could put in, um, for instead, of, this is what I would do. Uh, instead of Gligor, if you don't like that, maybe you throw in Corbomitable. He's a good fighting attacker that is for less damage. Uh, that, I mean, that he is a good fighting attacker that does good damage, but he does not need the, uh, the one, he doesn't, the finishing stinger, his Gutsy Hammer is 80 damage, but you do damage back to yourself. Finishing Stinger, you have to have damage on the board prior. So that's a good replacement for that. Lugia, honestly, I would just replace it with Lele's. It's going to be better. You can use the Wonder Attack ability, and you also still have that main Energy Drive attack that does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both Pokemon. And that's that's going to make it a lot better. Um, now for uh, the other two cards that you really need to replace... I would say you need to replace, to bring this into standard, I should say, uh, you need to replace Skyfield. I would just put another Brooklyn Hill in. And that's pretty much how to replace Skyfield. It's going to help you with more consistency getting your Pokemon out and which, you want, which is what you want. For Lysander, you know, you generally just throw a Guzma in and that uh, replaces it. As I was saying, for Lysander, I would replace it with some Guzmas. And then for uh, teammates... The general, uh, the best replacement generally for that is going to be a, a Mallow. Um, something that you can pull out the two cards you need. Uh, what would also really help this list is if you could find a space for an Octillery Remoraid for consistency. Maybe remove, um, maybe that's what your Glide scores go towards is you remove one of those and throw some Octillery Remoraids in it. And that will keep your deck consistent and uh, running quickly. Uh, so look out for this deck to face off against the Gyarados list I made that I posted um, already. And uh, we will uh, definitely, those two will face off soon and uh, we'll see who wins. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two matches or one, but uh, like I said, be on the lookout for these two to face off. And uh, this has been Dapper Drabby and I will see you guys on the next video. But for now, I will bid you guys Alola. Bye bye now. Girl.